morning guys welcome to snow break containment zone and we are here to preview a quick preview of Sirius kisana's uh kit uh at first glance how does she look like we all know how she looks like but you know what i mean her kit um i seem to get a drift that she's kind of just eye candy so what i mean with eye candy is that she's good with the eyes but i'm not sure if we could you know, if if we could have a slot in our team or teams for her, could she be placed in one of our teams? Will she be useful to majority of the players? I'm sure beginners will have, you know, will have a, you know, will be benefiting more from her kit because it has a shield. But we'll go a deep dive more on what she can really more or less give us. So without um, any delay so this is her design you've seen it uh if you haven't been here um in a few months before like six months before i think she didn't look like this she was a normal girl with normal features but uh, definitely time has passed and she has changed for the better <laughs> so weapon is still shotgun element is thermal so roll is skill dps okay in that category alone there are a lot of um, of uh what do you call this of operatives that she will compete with number one is going to be cherno five star she's a skill dps uh you could also she's she's the primary more or less the primary competition for that role second would be probably uh life wild hunt uh skill dps as well so i'm just gonna be comparing with the two but definitely cherno five star will be her main competition um for that role so let's take a look at her this is actually one of her or two of her animations so this is her uh main screen uh, i think this is her main screen animation this is probably one of her skills i'm not sure let's go further let's take a look at her standard skills so 14 unities um i nearly um read it wrong i'm not gonna say it out loud but i nearly read it wrong okay so this is the animation this is going to be her shield so basically at first glance she's going to be carrying a shield she can ram into people probably dealing damage and from here the shield explodes so i think that shield is a timeline you could actually probably it probably explodes after you know not, not timeline it has a duration after the duration explodes or there could be a trigger so let's take a look at the translated text by the way Thank you to the guys at Snowbrick GG because this is taken from the Chinese version of the game, Chinese server. So translations are important. Thank you guys for translating this for us. So if you haven't seen my, if you're a beginner guys and you haven't seen my beginner guide, please do check that one out. It's actually premiering right now. So if uh, you're a you're interested or you're planning to go to the game so go to that first go back to this again and this will just be here okay so okay uh, standard scale siri deploys a shield in front of her and change and charges forward while charging she takes reduced damage from the front up to 80 percent which is huge but the game's meta right now is more in damage dealing not more in healing and on protection so we'll see how she should have enough damage to be acceptable to be used in one of your teams to compete with skill dps in that category gradually upgrades her shield and gains stacks of soul power up to maximum enemies hit by the charge are knocked back and take thermal damage series has s energy re remaining it will consume every second to apply the following effects gaining additional re damage reduction gaining um additional soul power stacks every second and increase the speed at which the shield uh, which the shield upgrades when hitting an enemy with a charge gain additional soul power stacks okay soul power is this one 
So upgrade and gain soul power up to max hits. Hit enemies hit by a charge are knocked back and take thermal damage. So probably the the, the more charge, the more damage it, the enemy gets. So that is from my understanding. The shield upgrade shield can be detonated by recasting the ability and. Uh, uh, the ability to deal thermal damage up to five enemies in front of it. Detonating the upgraded shield will also recover you energy and instantly grant soul power stack. So, you have your synergy between your standard skill and your ultimate skill. Uh, if you open the uh, two Euronics, so when equipped with the thermal weapon, Siri gains soul power and regenerates as energy whenever a bullet hits an enemy. So means you can get multiple procs as per shotgun, but we'll have to see. So definitely, um, editor is correct. De depending if it will proc with only one bullet, if it will proc with multiple bullets, then this is going to be a very, very nice upgrade to your Neuronic. Number two, when the upgraded shield hits an enemy, the cooldown of this ability is refunded. And every hit on the shield detonation will restore additional S energy uh and that is it so so for her support soul return this is it so basically um i think there's knockback and thermal damage to it based on that so knockbacking dealing thermal damage and granting shields to nearby allies so she's gonna be deaf she's gonna be a good support if you're gonna be using her in co-op Neuronic 1, the total shield strength is increased by by series max health. Uh, the range of the ability increased as well for the support skill. And the last one is uh, ultimate ability, reverse rebirth. This one from the animation itself has a big damage. So that the damage is uh, up to six figures, I think. Is that six? Or is it five? I'm just, you know, it's too fast. It's probably six, probably five. I'm not sure. But I'm hoping that the damage is good, is big. So series stops time and charges, consuming soul power stacks to apply marks to a target enemy, which receive detonation stacks as she charges. If the enemy has multiple marks, the effectiveness of the stacks applied is reduced. When series finishes charging, she deals thermal damage to mark targets based on the amount of detonation stacks on the, each enemy, as well as the amount of soul power stacks consuming while charging. It also deals proportion of the damage to enemies in front of her. So definitely there is this it, there is, there are stacking mechanics involved for you to reach that big of a damage. So that is simply put. And the charging is also involved in the ultimate. That is why you have to charge first before you use the ultimate. Okay, so Neuronic 1, when series deals non-ultimate damage, reduce the cooldown of her ultimate ability. So number two, using series ultimate ability will refresh the cooldown of her standard and support abilities. Again, it has a synergy going back to the skills from the ultimate to towards the support and her standard skill uh and also reloads her weapon okay so we have to test this out even the editor has some theories but everything guys has to be tested when she arrives tomorrow so they was passive licensed resurrection every time series soul power stacks increases or decrease by a certain amount she gains one stack of resurrection each stack Increases series attack, further increased via alignment index. Resurrection stacks have a maximum limit and decay over time. So again, her kit is not nothing that's nothing really special with her kit. It's it it has borrowed mechanics from previous skills, aside from the shield of of course and the charging ability. It's most of the mechanics are, you know, come from previous um, operatives. But I'm curious to see how she does really when we have her tomorrow. Probably going to review her skills more. This is just a, you know, top overview of what she is if you're considering on pulling for her. Definitely, I would recommend her for beginners because um, 
she could be a missing piece in your roster definitely she could be a support unit for you um she could be secondary dps for you she can do well with co-op as well for support um new players definitely yes for those who are full of their you know roster i'm not sure depending on what you want what you need and depending on what is the reason that you're getting her definitely uh is it because of her skills is it because of how she looks like right now definitely it's gonna be your choice if you are a an old player versus a new player okay let's go to the logistic set so logistic officers profile so uh, where is it okay where is, where is the text okay two piece effect increase attack and maximum hp definitely for two three piece effect when series Kisana uh, Resurrect her stacks increases. She gains a stack of reanimated up to a max, increasing thermal damage. So, definitely the logistics buff thermal damage. When Ceres does not ha have any stacks of resurrection, remove all reanimated stacks. When resurrection reaches a certain number, further increases thermal damage. So, this is going to be. So, so the note here is. The three-piece effect specifically mentions series and specific buffs that she can only generate. So, basically what he's saying is this piece is definitely going to be fit only for series, not for any other operative. But we'll see if other logistics are better than this for series 5 star. So, not really special. It's just a buff if, uh, to, for thermal damage. So, and this is how they look. Logistics are usually, you know, uh, nice in design. So basically what I'm saying is, we'll, again, we'll just have to test this out. See if there are other logistics that can, you know, be better for her. And more or less, again, there's a lot of playtesting to do when she arrives tomorrow. So top of mind, she's top of mind um, before the update. I guess she's going to be just be eye candy. I'm not sure she's going to be a must pull. I don't think so. The only reason I think you're going to be pulling for her at this point would be for new players who actually are looking for more choices in their roster. But for, you know, for veterans, um, I don't think she is going to fill your roster unless, again, you're pulling her for a different reason. Okay, guys, so thank you very much for staying this far. Take care, stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out.